Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two lesser-spotted institutions take the field tonight, having made just six appearances in this competition between them since 1994. At this stage in the competition, winners progress automatically to round two, while losing teams may be given a second chance to join them if their score is sufficiently high. Now, it's been nearly 20 years since Cranfield University last joined us when they finished runners-up in a closely fought final. Founded as the College of Aeronautics at what was an RAF station, it's the only UK university with its own airport and aircraft, which it uses for teaching and research. It specialises in STEM subjects and management, and graduates include the business people Nick Jenkins and Angus Thurwell and the politician Winnie Bayanima, head of the UN programme on HIV and AIDS. Representing around 5,000 students and with an average age of 32, let's meet the Cranfield team. Hi, I'm Jack Timbers, I'm from Crawley, and I'm studying a doctorate in business administration with a focus on performance management. Hi there, my name is Raman Suri, I'm from Essex, and I'm studying water engineering. And their captain? Hi, I'm John Joseph Stevenson, originally from Preston in Lancashire, and I'm studying for a PhD in metals and extreme environments. Hi, I'm Charlotte Keenan, I'm from Northumberland, and I'm studying for a Master's in Safety and Human Factors in Aviation. Now, their opponents tonight are the first Royal Holloway team to qualify for the competition in 15 years, and only the third to have featured since 1994. The modern university was formed in 1985 from a merger between two of the UK's oldest university colleges for women, and today it's the only member of the University of London whose main campus lies outside the M25. Notable alumni include George Eliot, Emily Davison and Jean McFarlane, the UK's first professor of nursing, with an average age of 34 and representing around 11,500 students. Let's meet the team from Royal Holloway. Hi, I'm Joel Abramovich. I'm originally from Highgate, North London, and I'm doing a bachelor's in biology. Hello, I'm Joanna Brown. I'm also from North London, and I'm studying for a PhD in creative writing. And their captain? Hi, I'm George Harvey. I'm from Dunmo in Essex, and I'm studying for a master's in physics. Hi, I'm Mika Clayton. I'm from South Africa, but I live in Richmond, and I'm doing a PhD in music and neuropsychology. OK, the rules are the same as ever. 10 points for starters, 15 for bonuses. Starters are solo efforts. Bonuses are team efforts. And here's your first starter for 10. Beatrix Potter and Judy Garland are among the screen roles of which Hollywood figure ah, born in... Royal Holloway Brown. Renee Zellweger. Correct. <laughs> you can say the bonuses on political families. The daughter of Mujibir Rahman... Sheikh Hasina has, since 1996, served more than 17 years as Prime Minister of which Commonwealth country? Any ideas, Sheikh Hasina? Mm, no, I, um, <clears throat> I don't know. If not, we just move on and pass, then. Yeah. 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 Pass. It's Bangladesh. Having evoked the legend of his uncle, who was elected president of his country in 1848? His uncle had died in exile in 1821. Oh, what's it going to be, France or something? Because it's Napoleon. Okay. Um, France? No, I was looking for the person. It's Louis Napoleon, Napoleon III, Bonaparte's nephew. Which British head of state lived for more than 50 years after his removal from power? He had assumed the position for a brief period after the death of his father. I need both the given name and surname. That's going to be it. Oh, is it Richard Cromwell? I thought it was going to be Edward. Oh, no, I wasn't. Richard Cromwell, do we think? I think it's Just, Richard Cromwell. Yeah, Richard Cromwell. OK. Richard Cromwell? It is Richard Cromwell, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What five-letter adjective links all of these titles? A 2006 novel by David Mitchell, a 1908 coming-of-age novel set on Prince Edward Island, and a Middle English narrative poem in which an eponymous figure is beheaded but lives. <laughs> Royal Holloway Brown. Green. Green is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on winners of the Royal Society's Copley Medal, awarded for outstanding achievements in scientific research. The 1936 recipient, Arthur Evans, 
was recognized for uncovering evidence of the Bronze Age Minoan civilization on which Greek island is the fifth largest in the Mediterranean? Well, it's going to be Crete, Crete isn't it? Crete. Crete. Correct. In 1976, Dorothy Hodgkin was the first female recipient of the medal in recognition of her work on the structures of complex molecules. These included which hormone secreted when blood glucose levels rise? And blood glucose levels rise. Insulin? Insulin. Insulin. Insulin? Insulin? Correct. In 2021, Jocelyn Bell Burnell became the second woman to receive the medal, recognising her work on the discovery of which rapidly spinning neutron stars. They give off regular bursts of radio waves or other radiation. Pulsar? Qua oh, Pulsar pul or Quasar? Oh, I, I was going to go Quasar. Go Quasar then. I, I don't know better than you. Quasar. No, they're Pulsars. Ten points for this. The art critic Lawrence Alloway is often credited with coining what two-word term during the 1950s? Cramfield Surrey. Pop art. Pop art is correct. <laughs> Three questions on the letter X for your bonuses. Depicting the Parisian socialite Madame Gautreau and regarded as controversial when exhibited in 1884, the portrait of Madame X is by which artist? De Nominate, sorry. Is it De Beauvoir? No, it's not. It's John Singer Sargent. For what word does the letter X stand in the abbreviation X, C, B, M, X and C, X when referring to running and cycling activities? Cross. 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 Cross is correct. The first use of the letters X, Y and Z to represent unknowns is generally credited to which French thinker in his 1637 work, Geometry? It's going to be Descartes, because yeah, Cartes yeah. didn't call it. Descartes? It is Descartes, yes. Well done. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starter, you'll see a map showing a proposed new US state. For 10 points, identify the existing state to which the highlighted area currently belongs. Cranfield Keenan. Michigan. Michigan is correct. <laughs> now, following on from that map showing the proposed state of Superior, which will be created from Michigan's Upper Peninsula, your picture bonuses are three more maps showing new US states that have been proposed in the past. You need to identify the state or states that would have ceded territory to create them. Firstly, Two of the three states that would cede territory to create this proposed state. So that's... The Dakotas. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. And... Kansas? No. no. Montana? Um, yeah, Mont Montana. Montana. So South, Dakota Montana, Montana, South Dakota and Montana? South Dakota and Montana? Correct. The other one was Wyoming, of course, would have created the state of Absaroka. Secondly, this proposed state would have been formed from territory within what state? That's uh, Arkansas? Arkansas, no. yeah. Arkansas. Arkansas? No. Arkansas? No, it's Oklahoma, was the proposed state of Sequoia. Finally, I need both of the states that would have ceded territory to create this state. Uh, Idaho and Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Washington and Idaho. It was. That was the proposed state of Lincoln. <laughs> right, we're going to take another starter question now. To which Nobel laureate was the poet Adrienne Rich referring when she wrote... Her wounds came from the same source as her power. The scientist's laboratory notebooks are kept in lead line. Ah. Royal Holloway Harvey. Curie. Marie Curie is correct. Well done. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on an aquatic animal. Marine species of what reptile include loggerheads, olive ridleys, hawksbills, and greens? Sharks? Yeah, loggerhead Loggerhead shark. sharks. Shark? No, it's turtles. The top and bottom of a turtle shell join to create a rigid skeletal box. The top is the carapace. What name meaning breastplate is given to the lower part? It's the one. Lorica? Yeah, Lorica. Lorica? Lorica? Should we go for it? Yeah, we'll that's go for that. Anyone. Lorica. No, it's plastron. Two species of North American freshwater turtles with rough shells, large heads and hooked jaws are known by what name for their swift, aggressive biting? A snapping alligator. Um, snap. Snapping alligator turtles. I've heard of snapping turtles. Yeah, snapping, snapping turtle, maybe just snapping. So just go with snapping. Yeah. Snapping. Snapping turtles is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need two place names here. In 1825, 
a Latin motto meaning the private danger is the public good, appeared on a flag borne by a horseman who led out the first steam train on which railway in northeast England? It was Cranfield Keenan. Stockton to Darlington? Stockton to Darlington is correct, yes. New Darlington to Stockton. <laughs> Built to carry coal. Right, your bonuses are on the culinary process. What type of coffee-making device has a name that derives ultimately from the Latin for to strain? In these devices, boiling water pours down through coffee grounds. It's a press, I think. Is that right? No, yeah, no, it's a percolator. From the French meaning to flow, what name is given to a thin light source of pureed vegetables or fruit? So flow, I think, is fluid, so it must be a fleury? Is that what is that thing? I don't, I don't know. Maybe try for one. <laughs> Pure. Yeah. Pure. 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 No, it's coolie. In the UK, strained yoghurt is thickened by having most of its whey removed. It's usually marketed as being in the style of what country? It's Greek yoghurt. Greek. Greek is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Answer promptly, naming any two of the four contiguous countries whose post-independence leaders have included Samora Michel. Hastings Banda, Paul Kagami, and Julius Nereri. Royal Holloway Brown. Tanzania and Kenya? No. Cranfield Suri. Kenya, Uganda? No, it's Mozambique, Malawi, Rwanda, and Tanzania. Right, ten points for this. I need two scientific terms here, these being coinages that complete this statement of 1834 by the natural philosopher William Huell in a letter to Michael Faraday. If you take anode and cathode, I would propose for the two elements resulting from electrolysis, what two terms? Cranfield Suri. Anion and cation. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a Pacific island. Forming part of Micronesia, what is the world's third smallest nation by area? A little larger than Canby Island, it lies just south of the equator. Nauru, Tuvalu... Oh, uh, yeah. Palau? Palau. Palau? One of those? Go with it. Any preferences? Palau, Palau sounds... Palau. No, it's Nauru. By the 1990s, scientists had declared Nauru uninhabitable. This was a result of extensive mining for what mineral widely used in fertilisers? It's like potash. It's, yeah, it must be potash. Yeah. Potash? No, it's phosphate. In 2005, Nauru agreed to restore diplomatic ties with which island? China accused Nauru of being interested only in material gains. It's going to be Taiwan, because... Oh, uh, yeah. Taiwan. Taiwan is correct. <laughs> Another sort of question. Born in 1898, which artist reportedly said of one of his best-known works, how people reproached me for it, and yet could you stuff my pipe? No, it's just a representation, is it not? Royal Holloway Harvey. Magritte. Magritte is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on time periods. What short term denotes the day and time for which positions of celestial objects and orbital elements are calculated? It's also a measure of geological time. Like epoch? Epoch. 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 Epoch is correct. In astronomy, the current standard epoch has the notation letter J, followed by which four numbers? Well, two zero zero zero, presumably. I don't know. I, I think it's because they use Julian and it's from 2000s. OK, go with it. Two zero zero zero. 0 Correct. 2000. According to the International Union of Geological Sciences, what eight-letter term denotes the current geological epoch? Holocene? Holocene, I Holocene. think is correct. Holocene. Holocene? Holocene is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round. If your music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can name the group performing. Cranfield Stevenson. The Ronettes. No. You can hear a little more Royal Holloway if you like. Ah. 
Roll, you hold away a Bremovich. Confer, one of you may buzz. Uh, the Supremes? No, it's not the Supremes either. That was the Shangri Lars. So we're going to take the music bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this. Ranging from 24 to 33 degrees Celsius, the lowest and most variable body temperature of any mammal belongs to the two-toed genus of what arboreal animal? Roll Holloway Abramovich. Sloth. The sloth is correct. <laughs> so you get the music bonuses. You heard and failed to identify the Shangri-La singing Train from Kansas City. You're going to hear three more songs about railway journeys. In each case, give the destination of the trains according to each song's title and lyric. First... You can be here by 4.30 Because I've made your reservation totally slow Marrakesh Express? No, I haven't heard this one. I can't remember where the train's going. Is it, is it in the title at all or is it? I just can't remember. Okay. Pass. That was the last train to Clarksville by the Monkeys. So here we go with the second one. Georgia. Yeah, midnight train to Georgia. Just Georgia? Yeah. Georgia? It is Georgia, the midnight train to Georgia, performed by Gladys Knight. Finally... I got my fare And just a trifle to spare You leave the pencil It's Chattanooga. 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 Choo Choo is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in Wisconsin in 1908, which physicist's name appears on the shuttle in the 2009 film Star Trek? He's the only person to win the Nobel Prize in Physics twice. Grenfell Zuri. Uh, Pauling. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. For the invention of the transistor and for his work on superconductivity. Royal Holloway Harvey. Planck. No, it's John Bardeen. Ten points for this. One of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and almost exactly due east of Asmara in Eritrea, what is the highest capital in the Arabian Peninsula? Grenfell Stevenson. Sanaa. Sanaa is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on the works of Shirley Jackson on screen. Which novel by Jackson was the basis of a 1963 horror film by Robert Wise, noted for its unusual lenses and camera tilts to create unsettling tricks of perspective? The novel was adapted more loosely as a series for Netflix in 2018. I need a five-word title. The Haunting of Somewhere. The Haunting of Sleepy Hollow? No. no. The house or something. The Haunting of Something oh, yeah. House. Haunting of something. The Haunting of End House. Hang on. The Haunting of End House. No, it's The Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> Which short story by Jackson was adapted by Larry Yust in 1969 as part of an educational series for Encyclopedia Britannica? Yust's naturalistic adaptation used the real residents of the small California towns of Fellows and Taft. Anything? No. Sorry. Sorry. Pass. That was the lottery. And finally, which actor played Jackson in the 2020 film Shirley, which blends a fictional narrative with real details of Jackson's experiences writing the novel Hangs a Man? Have a guess. Nicole Kidman. Um, nominate Chivers. Nicole Kidman. That was Elizabeth Moss. Ten points for this. In physics, what term denotes a composite subatomic particle usually consisting of three valence quarks? Although exotic varieties... Royal Holloway Harvey. Baryon. Baryon is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on Australia and Indonesia. From about the 1700s, Makassan people from present-day Indonesia embarked on voyages to the area known as the Kimberley in which Australian state? Kimberley. Well, Queensland's the one on the... On the... Mm -hmm. On the east side, uh, on the west side, sorry. All I know is that the, the Kimberley um, Plateau is in Western Australia, but okay, I don't know if that fine. means anything. Okay, so well, Western Australia, Australia is a province, I think. It like is, a, yeah. Should, should we go with that? Western Australia, yeah. Western Australia. Western Australia is correct. 
Thanks. A main object of these voyages was the collection of a delicacy known as trepang, or beche de mer, the edible flesh of a marine invertebrate commonly known as the sea what? Sponge. Sea sponge, sea, sea urchin, sea, sea cow, cow, sea... Uh, sea urchin, then I'd go... Yeah, sea urchin. Sea urchin? No, it's a sea cucumber. The Makassan people take their name from a city on a peninsula of which large island to the northeast of Java? So Sumatra. Yes, Sumatra. Yeah, Sumatra. Sumatra? The Sulawesi. Ten points for this. Five bagatelles by William Walton. Prelude number one by the Brazilian Height of Via Lobos and the Memories of the Alhambra by Francisco Tarrega are among concert compositions for what stringed instrument? Franfield Stevenson. Classical guitar. Yes, guitar was all I needed. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on works by the scriptwriter Dennis Kelly. Give the title of each work from the description. Firstly, a television drama that aired from 2013 to 2014. It concerns a cult graphic novel believed to contain clues to a global conspiracy. A US remake starring John Cusack began in 2020. Anything? No. Sorry, nothing. No. That's Utopia. Secondly, a sitcom co written with Sharon Horgan broadcast from 2006 to 2009. It begins with Horgan's character Donna calling off her wedding and moving in with her two best friends. This is, um... Do this something, um... What you No, I can't remember. Sorry. That was pulling. A stage musical with music and lyrics by Tim Minchin, adapted from a children's book of 1988. 88? It's not the tiger came to tea or something. That was published a bit earlier, I think that's yeah. in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, the Gruffalo Dog. That might, that, yeah. could, that might work. The Gruffalo? No, it wasn't. It was Matilda the Musical. Right, we're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a still from a television drama. Ten points if you can give me its title. Cranfield Chivers. Is it Line of Duty? No. Anyone want to buy some Royal Holloway? Royal Holloway Brown. Is it Borgen? It is Borgen, yes. <laughs> Borgen is one of only a small number of non-Anglophone television dramas nominated in the Best International Programme category at BAFTA since 2000. Your picture bonuses are three more TV dramas nominated in this category. None is in the English language. Five points for each correct title. First? Oh, that's The Killing. The Killing. Yeah. The Killing. That is the killing. Secondly, um, spiral. 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 Spiral is correct. And finally, um, the bridge. The bridge. The bridge is right. Well done. Who would have thought you'd get points just by watching television? <laughs> right. Ten points for this. Dmitri, Ivan, and Alyosha, the sons of Fyodor Pavlovich are the title characters of which novel by... Royal Holloway Brown. The Brothers Karamazov. The Brothers Karamazov is correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses this time. They're on chemistry. What term denotes an element with an atomic number greater than 103? That is, any element above Lorentzium in the periodic table. The, the new ones. Uh, yeah, uh, Lorentzium. So that's going to be... I, I, th I was thinking transuranic, but that's past uranium. So. There's no, like, new lanthanides or something. <laughs> no, there isn't. Um, should we go to transuranic? Transuranic? No, it's transactinoid. In the periodic table, what letter denotes the block of elements that consists of the lanthanides and actinides? What is it? S, P, D, F... S, P, D, F... Should we go F, I think, is the... It's the last one, so... F... F is correct. The brownish black mineral known as pitch blend is the major ore of which metallic element of the actinide series? Pitch blend, so what? Uranium. Oh, well, ore. So, like, for uranium. Okay. I... What are your metallic elements? What are your options? Well, no, it's what? like it's uranium, it's thorium, it's that kind of thing. I don't know. Uranium. It is uranium, yes. Okay. 10 points for this. 
The Institute for Social Research in which European city gives its name to a school of thinkers that's included Horkheimer, Habermas, Marcuse and Adorno? Cranfield Stevenson. Frankfurt. Frankfurt is correct. <laughs> Rear bonuses are on early musical instruments. The dulcian or kirtle was a precursor of what double reed woodwind instrument? Double reed is the... Double reed oboes, oboes, oboes and bassoons. Probably the oboe, isn't it? Oboe? No, it's a bassoon. <laughs> Used in the Renaissance and Baroque eras, the sack butt resembles what modern-day brass instrument? That's like, um... Brass, it's going to be trumpets or it's, trombones or... I think it's saxophone or something. Saxophone's woodwind. No. Trombone. Trombone. Trombone is correct. The shawm was a precursor of which woodwind instrument? Its name derives from French words meaning high and wood. That's the clarinet, I think. Clarinet. No, it's the oboe. <laughs> Ten points for this. Sex, Lies and Videotape, Erin Brockovich and a remake of Solaris are among the films of which director born... Cranfield Suri. Um, sorry, pass. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Born Atlanta, 1963. No, it's Steven Soderbergh. Ten points for this. Iberian parsley, Italian agile, common tree and edible are among European species of which amphibian? Cranfield Keenan. Frog? Frog is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on official symbols of US states. Identify each state from the description. A state that borders Alabama and South Carolina. Its state crop is the peanut, the state fruit is the peach, and the state prepared food is grits. Georgia's Georgia. the peach state, yeah. Georgia. Georgia is correct. The largest of the six New England states in which blueberry pie is the state dessert and maple syrup is the state sweet. <laughs> it was made, that's what you were saying, yes, but I'm afraid it's too late. So, and at the gong, Cranfield have 110, but Royal Holloway have 155. Cranfield, I doubt that 110 will be big enough to bring you back as one of the highest scoring losing teams, but thank you very much for joining us. Royal Holloway, many congratulations to you. We shall look forward to seeing you next time. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match, but until then, it's goodbye from Cranfield University. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Royal Holloway. Goodbye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.